Take three. What's your name? I have an awesome cup for you, Nikolai. Okay. And it is, of course, the daddy is great cup. Oh, but I don't have any kids. <laughs> huh? I don't have any kids. <laughs> what did you do to your kids? You well, don't have any kids. As, as I know, uh, 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 so far, uh, uh, so far, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, take, stop, <laughs> take. <laughs> stop. You can have this one instead. Okay, thank you. It's the Rosa Mailing, Rosa Mailing <laughs> cup. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. I would use a Sur Badger 30 with a, a pair of uh, Celestian Vintage 30s. Cool. Uh, it is kind of funny because, you know, I just changed. I got this pick, this one pick from a friend of mine. It's called Plek Pro Plek. <laughs> There's the difference of a regular one. <laughs> oh, the best one. Oh. <laughs> Many. Uh, to name a few, I think Blake Mills is a really interesting guitar player. I also like Stian Vesterus a lot. Uh, yeah, I think those are my two favorites at the moment. Ooh. I'm playing a Gibson 335 from, uh, I think, around uh, 2010 uh, in uh, a black finish. 
black with a lot of sweat on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, used it quite a lot. <laughs> Maybe Woodstock uh, to see Jimi Hendrix, and uh, I would actually like to be sober to, you know, enjoy everything. <laughs> the only sober person. Yeah, probably Woodstock. the only sober person, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's only odd ones, or not, yeah, odd, a lot of odd tones. <laughs> Sound number one, we have a delay with a ring modulator. It sounds something like this. Kind of a rusty type of sound. And if you pick uh, like staccato, you get this type of sound. And then it, you know, falls together, so. <laughs> All right, it's also pretty nice with like two notes at the same time. All right, so that's sound number one. Then we move over to sound number two. It's kind of a delay with uh, an octave, so you get this. Wonderful with like textures. Then we move over to number three, Happy Chop. <laughs> so you get happy instantly when you play this one. Uh, you will. Instant happy. <laughs> yes. Number four. This one is called shoelace. Um, and for that I would need uh, my shoelace. Uh... All right. Here we go. Then you take this around the string. Like this. And then you do like a shaka <laughs> type of thing. And then you have... <laughs> Cheap strings for you, my friend. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> for five, snapshot five. <laughs> and this is a kind of a fifth uh, type of thing. It's wonderful with like bright chords. You get this. And when you pick it harder, you will get like. It distorts a little bit. And uh, you know, it. Just adds a really nice texture to you know the whole overall tone. Number six, this one is called neck zero tone. Uh, so you have to have a guitar with a neck pick, or you don't have to, but it's re highly recommended. And then the to tone knob on zero, and then you will get this type of a sound. And then it's uh, number seven, solo smiley face. It's just a <laughs> just a regular like Robin Ford type of. Oh, sorry, wrong uh, mic. I have to use the bridge on this one, I think. So it's kind of has this, just you know. Regular lead tone, but uh, with a little bit of delay. Number eight, EXP, line, line. Exclamation mark. E exclamation mark, thank you, Håkon. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, you should use uh, the expression pedal. So when you have it all the way up, it sounds like this. This is cool for like, 
know, kind of like a techno vibe or something really electronic. But uh, something that's nice too is when you do. So down at the bottom, it's, you know, quite long delays. And as I move the foot backwards, You're they, changing the time of the delay? Changing the time, definitely. Yeah. Can you show just a few of the licks you're using in your solo? Yeah. Is that possible? Basically only pentatonics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what scales are you using? Mark? I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, it's uh, a combination of a lot of different things. It's weird trides. So I look at it as a, an E minor and then I put like... Make this weird uh, type of uh, sounds. So, and I mix it up with chromaticism and pentatonic scales. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of uh, anarchism. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You have a really nice bend. Can you just, what's your idea about the bending? Well, uh, thoughts about it? aggressive, I think, like. But, um, oh, a oh, little bit of tune, sorry. Small bands, big band. Well, I just noticed one thing that I'm telling basically every student that I have. When you're bending, use your thumb <laughs> as much as you can. Can you show a band or two again? I hope I'm right. Or yeah. <laughs> that's why what, what I keep telling them that you need to have the power from your thumb to be able to bend clean. Definitely. Do you De just, do you do the same or am I am I wrong? I think I do the same. It's kind of it, you know. It does look like that. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. You have to try my guild for a second. Okay. Guild. <laughs> oh. Seems like it's a lot lower output. Definitely, which definitely. I would imagine. I'll just. Yep. Arm plugs. 